Hello and welcome back to my channel. Been having a lot of really bad internet issues recently and I broke my damn headphones. You see, look, they're a little, they just, they, yeah, I gotta fix that. So I got these replacements in for now. They're not as good, but it'll do. And I have to do a lot of catch up. So we're starting with Nyan's A, B, C, D. I've already, you know, caught a bit of the wildfire of this song over on Twitter. People are saying this is pretty dang good. Harness is a lot of early 2000s energy, which I'm all for. And already this first screen is starting with uh, a hood ornament. That's a little rabbit for Nyan. Now, I never listened to her album that came out two years ago. I really enjoyed pop. Never listened to the album, even though I own it on vinyl and also not on vinyl. I own the regular version too. So maybe I'll do a back-to-back -back album and album reaction together over on Patreon and Fourth Wall. You could find the extra content over on there, including plenty of time to twice and other twice related things. Geo's album. But let's get to it. This is Nan with A B C D. Ooh. Reckless driving. That'll get you a ticket. Budget. Can't blame anyone. <laughs> Couple that just got married? <laughs> Ooh, very singing in the rain. Volume up. Whoa, I mean, I adore this video already. The looks are insane. This is harnessing a completely different energy than pop. I like how the second part of this pre-chorus almost, or the second part of the chorus almost feels like a pre-chorus in the way that it builds. Ooh, what are these visuals? I wouldn't expect a night on dance break like this, dang! Yeah, I think everyone had that thought when that was the thumbnail for the video, like, what, what is about to go on here? What is happening? It really feels like shades of Geo solo a little bit, even the, this outfit, but just the aesthetic. But I like the song more. <laughs> the dude that was getting married is dancing now. I think his wife is with him. Wow, 
powerful concept. And I know that uh, like around right before it dropped, she was saying either on socials or something like that, that this is a concept that she was she found difficult or that she was kind of afraid to try, but she really wanted to, that it, it, it kind of challenged her. Um, something that is like very headstrong and very, I think, um, like self celebratory. And, uh, yeah, I mean the, the, the looks were insane in pop as well, but it had a lot of that nine cuteness and charm where this is a whole lot more intense. A whole lot more intense. So let's check out this video one more time, and then we're gonna actually do the performance video after that. But goddamn, I mean, she kills it. I love that this video is not only like aesthetically beautiful, and I love all the different sets that they have and the different outfits, but also while showcasing just a lot of great visuals set-wise, it also shows a lot of the performance. Like it really feels like a like a performance-forward song. And she murders it. Not only musically do you also get that sense of like early 2000s pop sound here, um, but you get it with like the, the, the big like text that they use, especially like right during the dance break too. Visuals obviously with like certain aspects of the outfits and the pops of color. The hairstyles of some of these background dancers yeah that dude's wife like not only is he enamored but she's enamored right alongside with him oh love that reverberating synth in the back this transition is slick as she looks into the window so slick it's almost like a slow transition between like her peering in, then her within the car, but still in color, and then into black and white, she exits. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a thigh attack. When you see a performance like this, you hear a song like this, and you wonder, like, how could this artist ever second guess their ability in any way to pull this off? Because goddamn, did she pull it off? Big little universe. And I remember I was always so, um, uh, so enamored with how many outfits that she had in pop and how that was so aesthetically eclectic yet still worked. And even this feels almost like we're going through genres of like an early 2000s film in some way. Even this feels like your, your typical kind of like high school romance kind of movie that you see. More of her in that outfit, please. The pre-course is really pretty. Oh my god, this song is really fucking good. It has the intensity, it has like the allure too that she like draws you in with those vocals, but it has the the levity and the sweet elements like in the pre-chorus, but it it's not just pure beat you over the head type song. It has a lot of peaks and valleys, which I always love. Hips. Whoa. 
What does it say? Something cosmos? I can barely even read it. Crossing the cosmos. Cosmos, I think? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's right. Doesn't she have like Louis Vuitton knee pads? <laughs> I mean, that's a sick outfit. It looks good. That move's illegal, though. Uh, I mean, half of this video is. Wow, but she smashes it, man. It really was. That was like a, a, almost an early 2000s thing of like... The just everyone dancing in the street block party kind of music video. This almost feels like a theater piece. That's so sick, the radio tower. That's her name. Wow. Absolutely killed it. God damn. I think as a, a song as a whole, even though that now we've had, what, two years with pop that you think you'd need to spend just a little bit more time with this one, I can pretty firmly say that I think this song is better. Um, both so good, though. I think both her solos have been so great, which is uh, why, I guess, I don't know, people have been yelling at me that it's taken me so long to get to that first album. So now we eventually will, and I'll do them both at the same time. But let's check out this performance video. I'm wondering if we're going to be seeing like all the different scenes from that music video in this. Or if we're going to stick to one spot. It's like one spot. Whoa! New outfits. It's like when that, that synth comes in is when I know I'm in for it. That's when that's when the hook catches my cheek. Ah, uh, we've seen this set many, many a time. But with the moss and everything, I feel like that aesthetic is really cool. Have the smoke going in the back? Great camera work. Yeah, like the earrings, the headband, like even the way her makeup's done, it, it's all this. We, we really are getting into that uh, era to where we're not just doing like Y2K stuff, which was huge very much like last year in K-pop and even like the year before that. But now we're getting into, and you see it a ton with like, say, Kiss of Life, like genuine early 2000s music uh, homage. And I really, really do love it. It's, it is weird to see something that I grew up with him though be retro what what is this wait that cut was pretty sick Ooh. Wow, this choreo is so good. I love how just it's not like she's dancing and then you have all these other dancers supporting her. It's all like they're all one unit very much. And the way they're moving, she's kind of interacting with them. Like very much so. Bass guitar in the back, too. Everything about this song. Excellent. Oh, 
camera work is insane. We are going in and out at such a rapid pace, but it doesn't feel like too hectic. Not at all. Like it completely feels just so one-to-one -one with the movement of the choreography. Really moving perfectly on the beat to enhance like every single movement that she does. Holy shit, this is one high production performance video, man. It's almost like this cool film grain on everything, too. Wow, there's the hip. Oh my god, that harsh spotlight looks so cool. Listen, we're not all Nyan, but... This should be proof that if you have fear of challenging yourself, or you don't think you're capable of something, fucking go for it. Because, man, did she achieve and then some on this concept. Like, totally, totally killed it. Um, This is probably now out of what we've, we've got our three... It's crazy to think we only have three, and, and Nyan Solo came out two years ago three um solos from our our twice girls and probably many more to come we have our subunit with misamo um this is probably my favorite out of the bunch in terms of title tracks it's just it's so perfectly done and the production on this video is excellent even the performance video super super high production it's like uh for 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 geo i would actually watch her performance video the one in the laundromat more so than the music video i don't care for the music video too much um but this one i think abcd has an excellent excellent um music video and just completely um kills the style that they were going for so yeah i love it let me know what you think about nyan's abcd who you might think will have a solo next do we get geo again before we get anyone else i don't know i feel like jung had said that she doesn't actually want to do a solo and then everyone thinks that JYP is like preventing her from doing one, but I don't think she actually does one. I don't really know about that whole situation, but you let me know about that. And hopefully we can get to both her last album and this new album uh, very, very soon. Do a little combo reaction, do them both at the same time. And also, I think there's a new Times Twice going on right now. But we've got plenty of the older ones over on Patreon and Fourth Wall, as well as other Twice albums and variety. Thank you guys so much for watching with me, and I will see you next time. <laughs>